Let's look at a problem from one of the problem sets. Here we've got a situation where we know something about an angle, angle alpha. It happens to be in the second quadrant. Okay, and we know that the cosine of that is a negative 6 elevenths. In fact, every, the cosine of any angle in the second quadrant is a negative 6 elevenths. It's also true that anything, any angle in the third quadrant is also negative. So there is an angle in the third quadrant that is a negative 6 elevenths. But this one is in the second quadrant. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this. Let's draw a picture so that we understand what's happening here. Uh, if I can get my picture drawing stuff going on here. This picture may not be very pretty, but just kind of work with me here. There's, that's supposed to be my y-axis. And there's my x-axis. And we know that we've got some alpha, some angle alpha, that's over here in the second quadrant. This terminal side is over there. So let me try and sketch in the terminal side. So there it is, shooting off there. Okay. Now what we know is that the cos... Oh, so let me see if I can't draw a representative triangle. If we came over here to a negative 6, so this length right here is 6, but it's in the second quadrant, so we're going to count that value as negative and build a right triangle right here. That's a representative triangle. Then this length right here would need to be 11. Okay, So there's a picture of an angle and a representative triangle. So this length right here is a we're going to call it a negative 6. It's actually a length of 6, but because it's in the second quadrant, we call that, that adjacent side a negative value and uh, 11 up there. So this is matching the conditions that are specified for us. We've got this angle alpha. The cosine of that angle is a negative 6 elevenths, and uh, it's in the second quadrant. All right. Now that means that we could find out what this other side is. It's going to be the square root of because of the Pythagorean theorem. See, whatever that length is, let me call that length h for right now. Okay. What we know, let me just do calculations in this other color. We know that h squared plus 6 squared or a negative 6 squared, but that ends up uh, being a positive 36 either way, has got to be equal to 11 squared. That means that h squared is going to be 11 squared minus the 6 squared, or minus the 36. Okay, so h is going to be either a positive or negative square root of 11 squared minus 6 squared. And we want to have the positive choice because we're in the second quadrant. So this h needs to be positive. It's going up. It's the, uh, the y value of this of a point on that terminal side. So h is going to be equal to the square root of 121 minus 36, whatever that is, okay? 121 minus 36. I'll let you do that calculation. All right, so now when we need to find the sine of this particular value, the sine of this angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the amount that we need to write in right here uh, unfortunately, I can't make both of these show at the same time, <laughs> uh, is going to be uh, the square root of 121 minus 36 divided by 11. Okay, The sine in the second quadrant is always positive. And sure enough, uh, I've got to adjust this so I can see what, what the values are. 
So the answer here is going to be the square root SQRT of 121 minus 36, okay, and all of that divided by 11, okay? Bring that in again. You see where we're getting that from? It's going to be this amount, the opposite side, divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, now when you're doing this kind of thing, it's, it's probably a, a good idea to just preview your answers to make sure that it's that it's making sense that's what we're looking for uh, the square root of uh, 121 minus 36 it it writes it in pretty print so we can kind of check and see what's going on then you can submit your answer or check the answer wahoo we got it right okay hope that uh, helps some of you